Hello and welcome to the Foundry's Furnace Core Tutorial for Final Cut Pro. Deflicker is used to remove flicker from a sequence. It is particularly suitable for removing flicker that is localized and dependent on geometry of the scene, that is flicker that is not present across the whole of the image, such as that caused by an unsynchronized fluorescent light in a shot. Now it works by calculating the gain between the current frame and each frame in a small analysis range surrounding it. It then tries to adjust the gain so that it varies smoothly over this frame, in effect leveling the luminance changes. Now it is better at reducing fast flicker than flicker that varies slowly over the image sequence, as the latter will already appear smooth over the frame range and deflicker will leave it largely untouched. Before you start the tutorial, you should have dialed the relevant image sequences and scripts from the Foundry's website. Once you've done this, we can begin. When you open the deflicker2 script, you should actually find an image sequence called flicker. Just kind of bring this to the timeline and press play. You can actually see that we have an unsynchronized fluorescent light where the flicker is based on the geometry, as the center, which is the light, is not flickering at all, yet the surrounding area is flickering. So to fix this, what we're going to be doing is going to use our furnace core toolset and in here we will find the deflicker tool. We need to simply just pick this up and drag it onto the timeline. If we double click this we should gain access to the actual parameters in the filters tab. In the actual deflicker we actually have a few parameters. We have the scale down, the clock flicker, use motion, the vector detail and the window size. Now we're just going to cover the use motion for the time being. Now the algorithm using deflicker can introduce blurring in areas where there is rapid motion. Now this can be solved by using the use motion parameter which performs a second deflicker pass on the actual sequence. Now alternatively when using this when it's not needed can introduce some blurring effects which can be remedied by turning the parameter off. Now as a rule of thumb it's best to actually look through your footage and determine which of these parameters you need to turn on or off. As this actual footage doesn't have much movement in there, leaving this use motion parameter on will introduce some blurring effects. So we're actually going to turn this off for our default pass. So we're just going to leave the scale down and the clamp flicker at the same values. And I'm just going to press render. If you play through the sequence, you can see we've actually done a quite a good job at removing the flicker. However, there's some there still in the sequence. So let's go back to Final Cut and fix this. look at the parameters of the deflicker node, you see we have scale down and clamp flicker. Now the scale down is used to actually does it say what it says in the tin and scale down the image for the deflickering. Now this can speed up the calculation process. For the moment we're going to leave this at 0 0.5. The main control we need to look at here is the clamp flicker. Now we use this to reduce the flicker without removing it entirely. Now the smaller value means more flicker we left behind. The default value of 0.3 was okay. However, we need to increase this a little bit to 0 0.4 as there was still some flicker left in there. We don't need to use the use motion task as the actual second deflicker pass will introduce blurring as there is not much fast movement in this shot. So now we've adjusted that, we should get a secondary render and view the results. If we press play, you can see by adjusting the clamp flicker level, we have removed all the flicker in the sequence. Now, by using the furnace core toolset, we have actually quickly and very easily fixed this sequence. For more information on D flicker, please refer back to the furnace core manual.